You can't start working until you ask yourself this one question. One question, that's it, that's it. One question and then you can start working, okay? Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, this is Kyla Denanyo and today we are talking about the one question you have to ask yourself before you start working, all right? And that question is, is this task a part of my 20% or 80%, all right? So let's jump right into it. Today we're discussing the book, Eat That Frog, How to Stop Procrastination, okay? The author of this book is Brian Tracy. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is business self-improvement, okay? So I have heard people talk about the 80-20 rule. A lot of times people talk about it when it comes to relationships, like if 80% of it is great, you know, don't sweat the small 20% that would irritate you, right? But in this book, Eat That Frog, Brian Tracy is talking about 80% of your task, which keep the business going, but it's mostly the administrative stuff. It's the stuff that kind of bogs down your calendar. When you need to be focusing on the 20% that earns you money, okay? The 20%, which is calling new clients, if that's what you love to do, or pitching, or actually talking to people, right? So I host a podcast called You Are a Lawyer. I am the host. I have to show up for the recording. Hosting, recording with podcast guests, which are lawyers, is in my 20%. Emailing the guests, 80%. Uh, writing the questions for the episodes, 80%. <laughs> Making sure the guests send me a photo, 80%. Updating the website, 80%. The majority of the actual task for the podcast fall in that 80%, which means that I can delegate those because whether or not I update the website does not directly bring money into my bank account, <laughs> okay? Now, you update the website, you get more traffic, you can sell ad spots, it does accumulate, but anyone can update the website, okay? I can train somebody on how to do that. I cannot, well, I could train somebody how to interview lawyers, but that's the part that I love, plus I'm the host, okay? So once you decide which part is 80% that you can delegate and you focus on your 20%, then you have freed up more time for you to think, brainstorm, and earn more money, right? Now you can sit around and be like, okay, well, this is making me so much money. How can I get to the next level of money? But you have to get that 80% off your plate, okay? So I thought, Eat That Frog was absolutely fascinating because the whole point of Eat That Frog is that you need to just eat the frog whole. Just do it, right? We're not out here really eating frogs. <laughs> but the point is, have you ever heard someone say the way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time? Sure, but a frog is tiny. Just, just chug it, just take it, just get it over with, right? And so the reason why the book is called Eat That Frog is because it starts out with Brian Tracy saying, the things that you absolutely hate to do that are in your 20%, but the things that you hate to do that are in your 20%, do them first, okay? Once you start working on your task, like let's say I need to send a pitch to a sponsor so that they will pay me to advertise on the podcast, okay? I like sending pitches because I enjoy sales. I don't like researching the sales rep, finding all those details, putting all that together. That is a big frog to eat. But if I start the day writing that email and eating that frog, well, guess what? When I have to record with three guests later in the day, that's easier. I've already eaten the big frog for the day, right? Now, what most people do, which is the key to procrastination, is that they'll do the small, tiny things that don't earn you money, the small, tiny things that irritate you. Oh, let me reply to this email. Let me do this. Oh, let me go do that. Let me go buy a new lens for my camera. They'll do all the small stuff. And then at the end of the day, it's like, okay, now you got to send this pitch email. Well, now I'm too tired. I'm not going to do it. No, no, no to beat procrastination, to stop procrastinating. Eat the frog first. Do the things that you are terrified of, the things that scare you first thing in the morning, get the ball rolling, get that momentum going, and then you can finish the day with your little stuff, okay? So that is why the book is called Eat That Frog. I know you're like, Eat That Frog, what a stupid title. <laughs> and it is, but the subtitle is 21 Great Ways to Stop Procrastination and Get More Done in Less Time. Because you only have 24 hours in your day, which probably means you only have 18 hours in your day after you sleep for eight hours, which means, well, that would be six hours, but you know what I'm saying. You only have so much time. So how do you maximize your time, okay? So if you didn't learn anything else from this book, identify the 80% of tasks that take up your time that you can get rid of 
and isolate out the 20% of tasks that actually bring money into your bank account, bring money into your business. Focus on those 20%, delegate out the 80. And then once you know which things are really important, then you can also stop procrastinating with your 20%. So while we're talking about how to beat procrastination, check out this book review here, which is all about million dollar habits, okay? Millionaires, they're not doing the stuff that everybody else is doing. They have a few specific habits that I bet if you follow them, you would become a millionaire too, all right? See you in the next video.